All right, so what we're gonna be reading today is a book called Be Quiet. And it's a really funny story. It's got these um, silly little mice and um, you'll you'll hear about it, but it's really funny. And I'll try to do it in different voices so that you can hear what's going on. And this book was written by, let's see, um, Ryan T. Higgins. And he's got some other books too that we might, we've read before. Um, so let's read this one today. Ready? Be quiet. That's what he's screaming. And the other mice are like, do you think he's talking to us? I don't think so. We never say anything. And he's like, be quiet. All right, so here we go. This is just the cover of the book. Finally, I get my very own book to star in. This is going to be great. Ah. I'm going to make it a wordless book. They are very artistic. This book will have no words at all, starting now. Rupert the Mouse presents, be quiet. Okay, starting now. Hi, Rupert, what are you? This book does not have any words. Wow, we a wordless book? Can I help? Talking. Oops, I'm talking. I'm talking about talking. Stop. The book already started. You're messing it up. Please let me stay in the book. I promise to be quiet. I'll be extra wordless. Please. I said be quiet. This book is wordless. <gasps> Shh. Hi, guys. What's with all the shouting? Hi, Thistle. We're making a wordless book, but I've promised to be quiet, so I can't tell you about it. Shh. And he's like, mm. A wordless book? I love those. They're very artistic. Can I be in it? Yes, but we have but we won't tell Rupert since we're not supposed to be talking. I told you to be quiet. You're putting too many words in this book. Quite you, this book will be more than fun. It will be visually stimulating. That means really cool to look at. What does visually stimulating mean? I think it means we're going to poke our readers in the eyeballs with the pictures. That's not what it means. It means we need to have strong illustrations. And remember, illustrations mean pictures. Like this. Look, we're helping. No, you're not. Be quiet. This book is wordless. Rupert is right, Nibs. What this book needs is some strong but silent types. Hmm, strong but silent. Hmm. What about him? He's strong. He's silent. Every book needs a bear in it. Remember, he's from a different book. I don't know. He looks grumpy. What about something cuter? Hmm. <gasps> What about a kitten? Kittens are super cute and friendly. Oh, look at its cute little nose and whiskers. He's so cute. And it's beautiful big eyes and shiny teeth. 
Ah, nibs! I think it's getting a little too friendly. Quick, think of something vegetarian. Because cats like to eat nice. A cucumber. Well, just draw a smile on it and add some googly eyes. <laughs> Ta-da! And there, a vegetarian. Nibs, what exactly do you think a vegetarian is? Stop filling my brilliant piece of wordless literature with nonsense! And stop talking! You're not taking this seriously! Is this more serious? What are you supposed to be, a president? No, I'm Vincent van Mouse. This is based off of a really famous painting by Van Gogh. I don't think everybody will get that. Can you try something a little simpler? And he's like, they're still talking. We're simple. We're potatoes. Stop talking and stop changing the pictures around. I don't even like potatoes. Hmm. Rupert is right. No more artistic stuff. Wordless books need action. We should have a silent superhero instead. We'll call him Captain Quiet, and he can fight words. Da -da -da -da! Captain Quiet, vocabulary, vigilante. Kaboom, pow, blam. No, 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 no superheroes and no onomatopoeia either. That means words like this, blam, pow, kaboom. I think Rupert just said, I'm a gonna pia. What do you think that means? I think it means he should have gone to the bathroom before the book started. What about mimes? Mimes are extra quiet. Guess what I'm miming? Let's see. Is it a cheese sandwich that thinks it's a hummingbird with a lettuce sweater? Sweater? Don't you know what be quiet means? It means don't make a sound. Ah! Right, right. It's like that saying about a tree falling in the woods. How's it go? Nibs, can you help? I'm on it. It goes something like if a tree falls on someone who isn't listening in the woods. No, 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 that's not right. That's not right. Timber! Ah! Did the tree make a sound? Um, it's hard to tell with all of Rupert shouting. Should we try again? Uh, he got smushed under the tree. Enough! I've had it! All you two do is talk, talk, talk. I can't stand it. Can't you be quiet for just one page? I try to do one thing. Make a wordless book, and you two have to go and ruin it. You have this book with words. No one is going to want to read the wordless book that is filled with words. Why can't a simple thing like that not say anything? It is that hard. I'm quiet. I'm not saying anything. But no, you two just keep talking and 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 talking and
What? Shh. Be quiet. This book does not have any words. He's like, that's what I've been trying to tell you this whole time. The end. And then he stomps off, <clears throat> annoyed. And they're like, I thought the book turned out okay. I hope we get to do another one soon. Ah, there's a little goose. And so do you notice how the pictures are really cool on the front cover and then on the back cover you can tell, oh, there he is. He's hiding. Those are visually stimulating pictures. So I thought this book was super duper funny. I'm sure that some parents are probably feeling like they're wanting to pull their hair out with lots of sound and stuff going on in their house. house. Um, so one thing I thought that you guys can do for this activity um, after this story is you can play a quick little game of charades, kind of like this story you were supposed to, they were supposed to have a wordless book, which means um, they're not supposed to make any sound, they're not supposed to talk. Um, so what you guys can do is you can play charades with your family or with your brothers and sisters. Um, so what I did is I just wrote some basic things on a piece of paper here, and then you put them in like a bowl or a hat and you find the one that you want. So I'm gonna do that really quick. Mix them all up, pick one out, and then you guys can play charades and figure out what that person is doing. So here's mine, I'm gonna read my little note. Okay, and let's see if you guys can guess what I'm doing. Are you ready? I'm not going to use any words, okay? Here we go. <gasps> Driving a car. Oh, I hear somebody. Somebody guessed it already. Great job.